station when I was a boy. All over the valley, you could hear that string sound of that mighty machine on its annual round. All the men in the time lines would follow and win. And all lend a hand at the outflashing moon. Rossley as a village is very spread out and it's just 500 people live in the parish but the, the hall, the church and the school are all next to each other. Really it is the centre of the village and we constantly try to improve it in whatever way we can. So currently we are upgrading the insulation. I'm the project officer with Cumbria Action for Sustainability and CAF's underlying aim is to promote sustainable development locally. One of the ways of doing that in a, an area like Cumbria, um, surrounded by all this countryside, is to look at sourcing natural products locally and using them in, in applications where they're going to make a difference to environmental sustainability. In this particular case, we're really, really pleased to be working with Second Nature UK, who have a natural product that's from a rural area and in a county like ours in Cumbria, sheep farming is such an integral part of the rural economy. It has been for, for many, many hundreds of years. The thermo fleece we've just had delivered today is being installed by volunteers and it's our way of trying to keep energy usage as low as possible. It's very much a community effort. Give me this side. electricity our energy costs were going up so we approached CAFs to ask them if there was a way around doing some more insulation. When the heat order came we discovered that we had bats so we had to have Natural England to come and have a look so that we weren't going to upset the bats. We've had a group of people, strong men from the village, a real community effort to start to load it off the wagon to put it into here and eventually, of course, it'll go in the attic. I hope the loft didn't collapse with the weight. One lengthways the same length as the rafters, I suggest. And then the next one, 90 degrees the other way. And then you get fewer gaps. Tell you know, when I've done enough, I don't want to be going too far up this thing. We don't want to finish today. You better come out. We're surrounded by sheep in the Lake District and what a fantastic renewable resource this is. So we looked into developing uh, a product and there was a product available but that was imported from New Zealand. So that's where the idea came from um, but it's been a long journey since then. Um, but you can see this is the product, this is Thermofleece which is wool from British Hill Sheep. It's an obvious choice because it keeps sheep warm on the fells for hundreds of years and I think people can relate to it. There's a lot of good projects around that are looking to use a more natural, uh, environmental and sustainable product. I think it's the people who are, are passionate about the environment, who people who want to go that extra mile. And that's brilliant for Thermofleece. I think that the name and the brand awareness has got out. And I think locally we've been supported greatly. We've been used in a huge amount of public buildings and village halls. 
Yeah. But clearly it is a manufactured product, but manufactured out of natural material. It's, yeah, not, yeah. Like, it's not like just getting a load of fleece and sticking it in your roof, although yeah. for thousands of years people have been doing that. Yeah. So that Did you see grand design this week? Did that put this in? Right. You know, it is, it's gathering momentum, to be honest. It's getting more mainstream building as well. Like, Tony Blair did check us with it. As the school uses the hall quite frequently, the children themselves are actually interested in different ways of insulating buildings to save energy. We hope that the children will see this being used and that they realise, or their parents will realise, that they can actually use similar products in their own home. Rossley Village Hall is an important hub in their community. It's what brings the community together. Well, it's the only hall we have in the village. The church doesn't have a hall, so they use it. And we've got an art class, a boot class, a craft class. The WI uses it. Uh, the play group uses it. It's also very, very well used for various events. The Irish singers come on a Sunday night about once a month. The last one we had, we had nearly 200 people in. The North West Climate Fund, of course, has made something really positive possible here. The community has rallied around to offload thermal fleece from the wagon, install it in the loft, and it's a tremendous team effort. It's something that could be replicated uh, across rural communities and it would bring such enormous benefits. Thank you. Thank you very much for dancing.